Hi everybody, it is Lori Zachary with LA Thrift Junkie. Hope you're doing good today. So, what am I here with today? Another one of my quick thrift stop and shop. So what is that? I don't love to go into thrift stores necessarily. Now, let me digress just a little bit. I don't mind going into consignment shops. I love the Goodwill bins. I'm not a huge fan of Goodwill and I don't necessarily frequent my smaller thrift stores in my area. I don't find a lot of great brands here. It is what it is, but I've decided to look harder. So I'm going in and I'm going into one of these stores while I'm running an errand. This time it is an attic window here in Muncie, which helps the homeless and it's a wonderful, I mean, it's a wonderful store, so just for what they do for our community. So my husband went in and dropped off my packages to the post office, which is right across the street from this attic window, and I decided to go in and take a peek at what I could find. And again, let me go back. What I do is I go through just a few sections, so I don't overwhelm myself. I'm not going to go through every section and the store, which in my belief for me is why I think I don't go in. I feel like that I have to, like if I don't walk out with 20 items, I'm unsuccessful. And I'm trying to retrain my mind and find better brands. Did I? No, but I did find some cute things. So let's see what I found today. Okay. Oh, I take that back. I did find something really good. I'm gonna save that till the end. So this is the first thing that I found. I looked at their shoes. They, oh, they always have good shoes, but they're priced up just a little bit. Attic window, just like Goodwill, are kind of see what we're able to do with things. So they're up pricing. And so that's another reason in my area, if they don't have the brands that sell very well, it's hard to pay extra for things for a reseller that mm, might or might not sell for a great profit. So I got these shoes. They were originally $12. Okay, that's what the store wanted for them. And they have a mark through there, if you guys can see that, which means they was 50% off. But then they was 50% off of that. So they was actually just $3, okay? But they are Calvin Klein. And they're this wedge hill. Part of it is Esperdil. It's kind of like a patent leather. Has this really cute, pretty texture on it. The peep toe. It has like a metal emblem over here. They're in excellent condition, and I might have to put on my glasses to see the sizes, you guys, and I always, and I tell you guys this, I always look and make sure that the size is on the shoe, and I don't see it immediately. I know that there was a size on it. I just, oh, there it is, right here on the side. I do need glasses to see this. It's super fine gray print on tan, okay? And it is a size, drum roll please, eight and a half. So that's a good size. And I thought they was just a cute pair for $3, a cute pair of summer shoes. Okay. And again, there's Calvin Klein. So that's not a horrible brand. Not something I seek after necessarily, uh, unless it's business wear, like sheath dresses, and yes, absolutely. So I picked up this purse. I'm trying to get into bags a little bit more. I have one of my, PFS, I guess you would say. I don't really know her that well, but when Poshmark went through their first change, I was devastated because my sales dropped and they're doing it again with this new change. Not quite as bad, thank goodness. But she gave me some advice and she said, bags, look for bags. They don't even necessarily have to be name brand. Look for quirky bags, just go for purses. So that's what I decided to do. This one was $6.00. It's not a great brand. I did not do comps in the store, but for $6, I have no doubt I'll be able to um, sell this. And I don't know if it's Mache, Mitch, whatever it is, M-I-C-H-E, okay? But it's this really fun print. So it's kind of got this faux leather croc embossed print. And then it has this right here, which is very bohemian, very in style for now. The double handle, it is in excellent condition. And you guys, when I tell you when I pick up purses that are off brands, I make sure there is not a, any flaws on them. The inside is in great condition. I don't know if I can show that. It kind of has like that stiff, almost like, I don't know what that's called, but like the stiff opening. And it does have some pockets inside as well. So I'll show you that. And I do see a little blemish down there, but I can get that out with my Tide marker pen. Okay, and again, just in excellent condition. And I gave it a chance because I kind of had a theme going on today and I didn't even do it on purpose. So the next item, again, style-based pickup. I sell these kimonos. 
starting in spring. I've already sold like 12 of them um, and all summer long. So it's these kimonos, they're always semi-sheer and I never know what section to put them under, but no matter what section I put them under, they sell. So sometimes I use blouses, sometimes I use jackets. Sometimes I call it a coverlet in there along with the kimono, but it's just a really pretty print, bright color, and I have no doubt it was sell, and it was $1.50, so definitely something to take a chance on. Next thing was a vintage belt, and their belts are 99 cents, just at, like at our Goodwill, and so it has this like clasp, so this would be good like to go around a sweater or a blazer or anything, so it's this braided rope bracelet, just a or bracelet belt, and I do sell a lot of belts, and especially on Macari for whatever reason. Okay, and this was actually kind of a brand pickup, right? So let me explain. Turn it around here the right way. So this is a vintage dress, and they're called Kona Kona. No, I lied. Cole Cole, C-O-L-E. I don't know if that's how you would say it since this is Hawaii, a Hawaiian brand. It may be pronounced a different way. But they have vintage Hawaiian dresses. And I always put, of course, that it's vintage when it's vintage. But vintage Hawaiian stuff, especially like this, I'm going to put vacation, cruise, tropical, stuff like that in the title. It's a super lightweight, really pretty colored dress. And it is almost like, it's not sheer, but you can kind of, like I can see the light through it when I hold it up like that. Some of these dresses are a little bit more substantial and it says made in Hawaii on it. And it was $4. So just a super cute fit and flare strappy dress. Right. And this is a unique bag. So this was $3. And so I guess it can be like a, it's got Velcro on it. So it can be like a sling back. Like I guess you would probably put it on you kind of like this, or you can go like this and it Velcros together and you can carry it like this, or even just like this. And it has this fun cheetah print. It's in really good condition, has a real fun yellow pop of color inside with a zipper closure. Okay. And this was from Hot Topic. So I don't know if that's good, bad, or indifferent, but it has pockets on each side as well. And this was a brand pickup. And these dresses that I have passed up for the last four years sell good. Not only do they sell well, I have not put one up in the last three months that did not sell within a week. So this is a smaller size, so we'll see. It's a size extra small or size two. But it is gorgeous. So it is this sheath dress, meaning sheath means it fits around the bust line, the waist, and the hips, and then it begins to go straight down. Okay, and it's got this beautiful collar, super thick, stretchy, but very good high quality fabric. It is lined with like a liner inside there as well. And it has an exposed zipper, which I always put in the listing. People, some people love that exposed zipper, meaning you could really see the zipper and it's gold. Did I sell you as Calvin Klein? I hope so. And it was $5. So I'll probably sell this for around $30. So that was a good find. I found two good things, I should say. And the rest was more style-based pickup. Matter of fact, I got this because it was 50 cents. Apartment 9. Apartment 9 does not sell for me. Let me give you a helpful hint, and maybe this is cheating, maybe it's not, because listen, if somebody likes to print in something and they don't necessarily like looking for Apartment 9, I think it sells at Kohl's, and it sells at Kohl's for a decent amount unless you find it on sale, I can't sell that brand very well. I leave Apartment 9 out of my title. I put it in the brand name. I'm not hiding that it's Apartment 9. Don't get me wrong. I'm just not blasting that it's apartment nine but it's just really cute bohemian dress with the big like flared bell sleeve at the bottom and i love the pink and the olive green together i just thought that was just a really cute top has like a round hem which i always put in there because of ebay i list on ebay and it has the keyhole 
which is what that is with the button on back. And it's like that proper blouse material. Like I said, it's 50 cents size small. So I picked it up to kind of have enough. Sometimes when you're a volume seller like me, you pick up things you wouldn't necessarily call, like you wouldn't be all excited about it. It's not a bolo. It's not even something that you're going to go, yay, you know, do a little happy dance for. But it's something you know that's going to sell for a profit. And that's what we're in this business for. Now these, I found these, and I'm going to tell you right now, I'm probably still not going to read the, be able to read what the name brand is on these. It had a really long, very strange, and it's embossed, the brand is embossed, but so I Google Lens them. You guys, have you ever used Google Lens? Use it. It's worth it. It's free. It's an app. It's on Android. Okay, you guys, you remember how I could not read the inside of these shoes? This is how I found them. So there's an app called Google Lens. It's right up here on the right at the top of my screen. I'm gonna hit that Google Lens. And then I took a picture of the shoes. So I'm gonna put them in here and you're gonna see that they come up with the information right there. Oops, I'm sorry about that. We don't want all that stuff. We want search. Okay, so we're gonna go to these because I could tell that they said on the inside that they were Schuler and Sons Philadelphia Shoes, and they are sold at Anthropology. So Google Lens is a very cool tool. I don't know if it's on, um, and it's size eight and a half, by the way, made in Brazil. I'm trying to see it's leather. I was hoping in that gold print that I hate, but I could actually read this time that it said the brand. Um, and I'll flash that up on screen. I'll look at them harder. But I looked at these and I'm like, those are funky. I need to get those things. They have like this really strange like platform hill on them. They were $6 and I could not read the brand name. I saw they was leather. I saw they was funky. I thought I'm going to get them. So I get home. I still can't read the name brand because I need more powerful glasses. But I wrote it down in there. I didn't bring it in here. I should have. Um, but I went ahead and Google lensed them. I'm like, well, I'll be darned. These things are selling for $129. They are from Anthropology, whatever brand that is. And there was only two pair for sale and they both were for that price. So I might price mine for around $99 for a quick sale. But that was the find of the day for sure. So you know what? In these little stores, maybe I'm not finding every single pieces like this. You know, this is great. I'm gonna sell it for a great amount. But I don't think I have my receipt handy. Um, I probably spent, I think it was like around 24 to 25 or 24 to $30, something like that. And maybe I'll like add it all up and put it up on the screen for you guys. But knowing that these could sell for around a hundred dollars and let's say I sell them on Poshmark and I give the shipping discount. I'm still on this whole thing going to profit enough off of these pair of shoes that's going to pay for the entire haul. The rest of it is going to be 100% profit. And sometimes that's the mindset you have to have. So once again, I'm Lori Zachary with LA Thrift Junkie. I hope you enjoy my short and sweet haul. Give me a like if you don't mind. Subscribe if you want to. And I'll see you next time on my little mini hauls. Bye-bye.